my previous video I made a tabletop out of some scraps of plywood that I have laying around the workshop and in this video I'm going to make a frame for that table but it's going to be a little bit different to the table frames that I've made in the past. Recently I went away on holiday to Mallorca in Spain and I came across this really cool shop selling mid-century modern vintage furniture and I came across a table which I really liked the design of so I took this photo and I want to try and recreate that design for this table but with the addition of adding a shelf that will sit underneath the tabletop. To make the table frame I'm going to be using more of these lengths of oak that came from the salvaged hat and coat stands. I set up a stop block at the motor station and cut eight pieces. Now I've got eight pieces cut to 510 millimeters, and the next thing I'm going to do is to cut off these routed corners on the table saw. And that will give me a workpiece that's about four centimeters by three centimeters. As this is oak, which is a very hard wood, I made two passes on the table saw for each cut, flipping the workpiece in between. So this is what all eight of the pieces look like now. I just want to take off the finish on the other two faces um, and I'll use the thickness planer to do that. I want to join the table frame together using bridle joints, which will look something like this. In order to do that, I'll need to cut mortise and tenons, so I've built a simple tenon jig on my table saw, which I will cover in a separate video. And I've never done this before, so I'm going to use a piece of scrap just as a test piece to see if I can get a decent joint. So first I'm going to draw a line that's roughly a third of the way on both sides. I'll set the table saw blade to the thickness of the material. Then I'll line up the jig so that the blade will cut on the inside of the mark that I've made. I'll clamp the workpiece to the jig just so that it doesn't move. And then I can make the first cut and this will be to cut the mortise. Next I'll flip the workpiece by 180 degrees and clamp it down again and make another cut. Next I need to cut the tenon and to do that I need to move the jig away from the blade by the thickness of the blade. So I'm going to measure the teeth on the blade, which are the widest part of the blade, and that measures just under three millimeters. Next, I'll clamp a scrap piece of wood right up against the fence to the table saw bed. Next, I'll set my calipers back to 2.94 millimeters, or thereabouts. And then I can move the fence away by that amount. Then I removed the scrap piece of wood. And now I can cut the tenon. And I'll do this the same way as I did the mortise, i.e. making a cut, flipping the workpiece 180 degrees and making a second cut. Then I can hog out the rest of the material of the mortise. Next I can cut the shoulders of the tenon. I adjusted the blade height to cut the shoulders 
then I could line up the blade and make the cut. And that should leave me with a nice tight mortise. This joint ended up being a little bit too tight, but that was okay because I knew that I could take more material off the tenon to make the joints fit. So it's time to make these cuts for real now. Um, I'm first going to cut the mortise joints on four pieces, both sides, and then I'll cut the tenon joints on these pieces, both sides. Again, I adjusted the blade height to the thickness of the material. Lined up the blade with the inside of the mark. And made the cuts to form the mortises on both ends of four of the eight work pieces. Okay, so rather than using the calipers to set the fence at the correct distance this time, I'm actually going to use another table saw blade. Uh, this has the same kerf as the current blade I have in my saw, because the teeth measure exactly the same, 2.94 mil. So if I slide this in between the fence and lock the fence, that should hopefully give me the right distance. So now I will cut the tenons. I made the cuts for the tenons on both ends of the other four work pieces. With the blade height still set, I took out the rest of the material from the mortises. Next I can cut the shoulders of the tenon joints and I'll do that on the crosscut sled so that I can set up a stop block and make repeatable cuts. So now we've got four pieces with mortises on both ends and four pieces with tenons on both ends. Unfortunately, not the tightest joints, but I'm hoping by the time I get some glue in there that these will be okay. I really don't want to start again. Uh, this is my first attempt at bridle joints, so never expected it to go perfectly well. I'll just have to find a way to make these work. I cleaned out the mortises with a chisel. I think that the reason the joints didn't turn out perfectly was because I forgot to check that my table saw blade was at a perfect 90 degree angle to the table saw's table before making the cuts. I want the frame of my coffee table to accommodate a shelf and I have a nice piece of oak veneered plywood that's been in my workshop for quite a while now. I don't actually remember where I got this from. And this stuff is just under 12 millimeters thick. And I'm gonna use that for the shelf. I want to cut some dado joints in the mortise pieces to accommodate the shelf. And I want the shelf to sit about 160 mil from where the tabletop will be. So I'm gonna make a mark at 160 mil. I've clamped up a piece of wood to the table saw fence and with the workpiece pressed up against that piece of wood the blade lines up perfectly with the line I've drawn so I'm going to use this setup to make repeatable cuts on each piece. And the blade height is set to about 10 millimeters above the crosscut sled so that will be the depth of the cut. <laughs> 
Next I need to adjust the table saw fence by the thickness of the plywood which is just under 12mm minus the kerf of the blade which is just under 3mm. So I need to move this by 9mm. And then I can just double check that measurement with the calipers. It's just over 12. I think that'll be fine. And now I can just take out the rest of that material. And that is a much nicer fit than the last joints I cut. Next I want to figure out what size I need to cut the plywood shelf. So I've got the bottom of the tabletop here and I'll place the legs up against the side of the trim and I'll make a mark on the inside of the joints and then measure up the distance between those two marks and that's 480 mil. I cut the piece of plywood to 480 by 510 millimeters. Then I gave it a sanding with a 120 grit paper on the random orbit sander. Time to assemble the table frame now and I'm going to do that outside where I've got a bit more space. I applied wood glue to all of the tenon pieces and assembled the frame making sure that the dado joints for the shelf were all positioned correctly. I applied some clamps to the joints themselves too. This would help to close up any gaps. I also rubbed in some sawdust to clean up any glue squeeze out and also to help fill any gaps. And I scraped off the excess with a Stanley knife blade. So the legs are glued up now. I'm just going to make sure that all of the edges are flush using a hand plane. And these joints are pretty flush but I'm going to use a hand plane anyway just to clean them up. I've just sanded the legs and now I'm going to glue in the shelf. Before leaving the glue to set, I checked for squareness with a speed square. So the glue is now set on the shelf. The last thing I'm going to do is just to add a piece of trim to the side to cover the plywood edges on the shelf. I just think that'll uh, tidy up the look a little bit. So I've got the tabletop face down now and I'm about to add the table frame. I used the electric file just to sand off where the legs will be glued to make sure that the glue sticks properly. I used wood glue again. Then I drilled some holes with a 2mm bit, countersunk all of the holes with a countersink bit and then secured the frame to the tabletop using some drywall screws. I'm going to use these offcuts from the table frame to make the trim for the plywood shelf. I've set my table saw to cut to 12mm which is the thickness of the plywood. 
I need to take the finish off this side of the pieces of trim and I'll use the Stanley knife blade to do that that I've just sharpened on the belt sander. Now I just need to mark them up for length. I've cut the trim pieces to size and now I'm just going to glue them on. I used masking tape to secure the pieces while the glue dried. And when the glue had set, I made sure that all of the edges were flush using my detail sander. Then I applied the same superior Danish oil that I'd applied to the tabletop. So I left the oil for a couple of hours and I know it's dry now because giving it a wipe with some kitchen paper. There's no oil residue left. So, so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of this rustic pine colored brie wax to match the tabletop. And the wax is also going to help to fill any gaps on my not so perfect bridal joints.